what it is ain't exactly clear. Okay. Papa won't preach anymore today. How about that, wouldn't you say? Enough of that shit already, eh? We just share the wealth of our grand experience in life, sharing the wealth of your grand experience too, as we bring it back together, me and you and all the rest of this Vibe Tribe too, here on that ever-wonderful, sweethearted, hazy radio network with Grandpa Coyote, a raft of angelic and ancestral and E.T. type friends and a whole bunch of other beings energies and powers joining in babies he says with a grin we got it on at hazyradio.com don't you yeah you do now the grandpa's here helping you on through baby yes indeed because that's what we do we don't screw around we get it down we get it up we get it going on we get down the highway of life why because, well, for one, we care, and for two, we understand all the controls have been implanted here, and we ain't gonna let them implant no more. We always stop that shit, don't you know? Now it's on with the flow, dissolve away. Every influence has been implanted in any human being anywhere. Across the board, man. It's time and your heart says that's really fine. What a great idea. Let's get to it. So let's see you right here, right now. Here inside of my heart. Yeah, there you are, babies. Oh, God. There's a whole tribe there, man. Shoot, yeah. Then to all these frilly little people that have been so bombed down with implanted, uh, well, let's call them negative uh, sources of behavioral context uh, that really weren't necessary in this reality, but for some reason or another, we put up with them for the longest of time, didn't we? But see, when you're living in creation, when you break it down to that elemental light, when you can see it in the minute level as well as the grander expressions of that accumulated light, then you start to see the flexibility build in right inside of you and me and this creation, don't you see? We don't have to put up with it this way anymore. It's like that innocent little Obi-Wan Kenobi, my love dog over here, my assistant DJ. He looks at things that way and they become so. So we just want to be a little more like that, exercise the power of our heart and let it create a world that truthfully is peaceful was without war, without pain, without anything that will ever stop us again. It's been horrible what's gone on here, yet at another level, completely necessary and part of our divine experience and a way of moving from judgment into gratitude. You see, the age of judgment is way overdue for being done, don't you know? Polarity right along with it. And we're getting in a whole new flow. It's called expansion and glow. Now, I know a lot of us were dabbled around with by seeming ETs back in our childhood especially. But gosh, some of us still get messed with. You got blocks of missing time and so forth. Give yourself some time today. See if there's any more implants in you. If there is, get them out of the way, man. And how do you do that? Well, it's the same way we've been doing here all day. You give yourself a moment, you collect and gather yourself in the heart area, in the center of your person. They are simultaneous, of course, the heart and the center. And when you're in that space, then you begin to become aware and conscious as you just relax and listen to the music in the silence. <laughs> you begin to see influences within yourself. And that's what you're going to first see as influences. You won't re re uh, realize these things as material things just yet. First you see the behaviors. Yeah, that, you know, to you are abnormal. I mean, in your mind's eye, you know that ain't what you want to be or how you want to be doing it. Yet you do. And so you know that's programmed, see? You know, and for example, you don't want to be upset with your partner right now, but the sucker hits your old button. Where'd you get that button from, etc., you see? Built in with that implant. Some of these are so subtle that the implant uh, suggested behavior, implanted suggested behavior is like uh, barely modified, but it's enough to knock you completely off base for the rest of forever until you become conscious of it. 
then its effect begins to nullify as you give it some of that good, warm, loving heart energy. And it does indeed dissolve away because you've got the whole tribe with you to help you come out and play. And it's time to let go of these restrictions, wouldn't you say? We don't need them no more. We had enough. No more tears. No more pains. No more bullshit. Just truth and great gains in the ever-expansive reality of love in motion. Can't be much better than that now, can it? You know, that's the way we want it to be. So I don't care if you're polluted with, you know, more darn implants. You know what to do with. They're done. They're finished. Watch and see, babies. It's over. And why? Well, obviously, there has been a surrender, a change of power here. Yeah, it all went on in the background where y'all don't always see it, but you're aware of it in an energetic way. You feel it, so don't bullshit yourself. See, have you felt a certain sadness in the darker side of life? Do you feel like it's dying? Do you feel a panic over there sometimes? I mean, we all have that side, you know, I mean, until we get it unified, that is. But do you see that? Do you see that in the world, the general panic? Evil knows its day is done. There really, really cannot be such a thing as evil anyway. But in this experiment and experience we've called the 3D, there it be, eh? But it knows its day is over. It knows it's time to come home. Time to come back to that heart that it forgot it even had so long ago. You see? And no implant, no influence of any sort implanted within you or in your auric field can influence or stop this process in any way. Their day is done. The process of interference is unreal anyway. It's a God-blessed illusion and so we're just letting it go. Don't need to feel that way no more, do we? No, see? So embrace that which thinks it's dying. It's part of you and it's not dying at all. But it sure feels like it because it's a complete change in behavior. A key complete shift in perspective. A complete shift in the way we live in this world. A complete shift back to a full feeling and ever-present life in every human being that lives. Beginning right here with me and you and... All the rest that are tuned in, all those that are tuned in through the heart, all those that are tuned in through the conscious experience of expression, of creation. See, there's a lot of different ways of tuning into this Coyote Medicine Show on the Hazy Radio Network. And you don't just have to have an internet to do it, but that's, that's more fun that way, obviously, because look at the fun we have each and every day here, Monday through Friday, as we get real expansion, real truth underway, and not the old bullshit kind you get everywhere else, man, you know. I mean, there's some real truthful beings out there that really are trying to expose things and make the world a better place, and a bunch of them too, but how many of them really know truth? Not that many just yet, but babies be sharing it everywhere you go, and I don't mean be preaching it. See, Papa, don't preach. I'm going to keep my baby. <laughs> don't you tell me what to do, and don't tell others. They don't like it either. Show them. Shine like the sun. Be bright in everything you do and others will be asking questions of you and the experience will get very, very, very exponential. And you'll realize a closeness with people you've never known before. And you move beyond the unrighteous hunger that says i got to screw their brains out or that I'm obsessed with them or whatever, you know. That's program behavior too. That's what I'm seeing as I'm getting down into the very basis of human programming, you know, the, the essential core of it. Thank goodness for this skin cancer that sent me looking in that direction because that's the only way I'm going to heal this shit is get over with the internal causes of it, you know. So that's where I go looking and when I'm feeling panic, when I'm feeling sadness, whatever, I'm going to go look. See what that is. I'm going to embrace that thing. I'm going to analyze it down to the finest detail in feeling. <laughs> and I'm going to know I don't really feel that way. That that's one little aspect of myself 
that's been, you know, out of line for a while, out of kilter if you want to call it that, however you wish to describe it, but not quite in congruency with the whole life around it, and trying to excess, uh, exercise excess influence over the entire person, and been doing so for a long time now, ain't it? through the use of the dumbed-down intelligence of humanity to start with, which then makes them malleable. See, in this upside-down world in which we be living, we didn't even know any better. We just, you know, take it as it comes and go with the flow and get the shit kicked out of us, don't you know, until we realize what the flow really is. And then there's nothing can stop us. When you're in that innocent heart and alive in that, babies, it's all over for everything else. I don't care what it is. Implants, cabals, bankers, international corporate conspiracies, you know, governmental realities, etc. It's all finished. It has no place here. It doesn't fit anyway. None of it. And they thought they were so damn grand. But, you know, we all have our illusions. You know, we all live by the essential program when we get from the masters of this reality. And I'm sorry to say, that has been the darkness up until mm, recent days, eh? <laughs> yeah. But see, again, we went the full course with that darkness so we could really appreciate, embrace the light, and be the love of creation blossoming uniformly in great equity forevermore. See, there's the end of judgment right there. Just be the blossom and flower that shines. Just know what you know and let that shine out into your life. Let that be your flow. That's the way we go. In the Coyote Medicine Show, we call life. Pretty easy, really. Well, let's call it simple. Easy, well, easy to see, not always easy to be, because you got to change some behaviors, and you got to see that you uh, have some real incongruous behaviors with this life. But when you do, don't panic. Don't feel sadness. Oh, no, i got to let up and give up. No, feel happy that you're finally getting in the flow. You're going to start living a life that's smooth and broad in feeling, rich in texture, and happy in all of its forms of expression. And into the frustration of these old dynamics we've been living in, whether it's economic or romance or health or whatever, none of these things, I'm telling you, have a substance in reality. Romance, physicality, well, a tiny bit. But the way we live in physicality, the medical profession, etc., none of this has a basis in reality, none of it. You see, you can't really affect and influence a physical person without first addressing it in the cosmic way. That's where all healing takes place, including planetary ascension, that kind of healing. And that's what we're up to today on this Free Day Friday on this Coyote Medicine Show, only and exclusively on the Ever Love and Ever Clear Hazy Radio Network, dear. Ooh, if this ain't the rock in his heart you ever found, well, it's only because you haven't seen your own yet. As soon as you do, you'll know the rock in his heart around. Yeah. And guess what? That one in you, that rock and heart, that's in me too. That's in that little dog over there, Okiwan Kenobi. It's in that coyote just ran by down there on the roadway. It's all over the place, man. It's in everything. We are the love creation is made of and the heart at the very center of it. And the more I say that, the more you display that because you start to see what it really is, you see. And words cannot convey that image. It's a reality. It's shared energetically. The words just help you open up a little bit, help your mind relax a little bit so your body and soul can accept the reality of your heart. And unite these parts that seem so different and separate. The physical, the mystical, the cosmic, the spiritual. No division. The parallel universes, the alternative timelines, etc. No division. The living unified art of living in the heart. Yeah, undivided. Yeah, now that's our reality. That's our truth. <laughs> That's the end of all those influences that ever freaking messed with you in any way, baby. 
So embrace yourself right now, hug your heart, and thank your lucky stars that you managed to live somehow through all of that bullshit and got yourself to here. Babies, you're going to see the insane becoming sane now because... We just took away the craziness, you and I and all the rest of this vibe tribe, who are the divine angel mechanics of the spiritual universe, the cosmic heart. We are creation and its specialists that come to refine that creation into a more uniform and equitous state of being. Always and always will we be this. It won't always be as tricky as this, you know, and it won't always be as difficult. But it's always expansive and it's always refining itself. See, that's perfection is ultimately just keeping going because you realize there is no ultimate state. It can expand forever. There's no limit to how this life can be lived and how deep our feelings can be in it and how broadly they can be shared and how rich this life can be for everyone as a result. This whole idea that some have to suffer because others have to live big is total bullshit. I mean, I hated that from the word go in this world. I don't hate it so much anymore. I learned not to hate. But I did hate it when I began this life and I began to see it, that some lived a lot wealthier than others and people starved to death so other people could have somebody to wipe their backside or something. It's just, it was, to me, and still is, total insanity. Well, here's the end of that. Because do you realize... That type of organization in society is an implanted structure, not a reality. Only weakened and controlled beings could live this way. Beings that are completely out of touch with their own heart and their own power. Only them could do it on either end of it, whether you're the one starving or the one making them starve. Doesn't matter. Either end of it. Same person on both ends, let me tell you. I can't just wait till old Mr. Uh, Mr. Starbucks there realizes how much he's the starving child in Africa. That's a good conception. When he realizes that or she realizes that, daddy, daddy, war dollars is out of business because he just put himself out of business because he just realized the thing he's always been attacking, the thing he feared the most, the masses of people, is himself, herself. And it's the same person in everyone. Despite our personalities and our personal experience in that personality, I'll call them caricatures. And that's what they are here. Caricatures. And that's why we can so easily and handily dispense with such a terrible thing. It's like they do in the cartoons, man. You, you fall off the cliff and the, the iron weight you were going to kill the roadrunner with hits you on the head and drives you 30 feet in the ground and squishes you to a little spot. And pop, you come right back up out of that hole and next thing you know, you're out chasing roadrunner again because you know what fun is, man. <laughs> Humans are like that in our caricature. In the cartoon world we live in. It doesn't seem that way when you're sitting in the hospital ER all banged up from a car wreck or something. Now does it? Yet if you look at it realistically, there isn't a condition here that can't be cured rather instantaneously by just accepting the reality of our loving heart in creation and how it works here. Our own person our own personal vehicle of creation. They paintbrush in the artiste's hand, and the artiste is the heart, and the brush is the heart's colorations in this life around us, and the feelings and experiences we develop here because of it. It's like one of the most beautiful paintings, one of the be be most beautiful motion pictures, filled with drama and righteous feelings and lots of dramatic turns and shit. I mean, it's the richest painting, the richest movie could ever be created. And it's a living thing. It doesn't ever stop. And nobody winds up on the cutting room floor. It's all edited in. Nothing's edited out. <laughs> Except for the perspec perspective we held throughout the age of the dramatic, eh? The age of judgment, the age of pain. You know, pain judgment is pain. It's pain in the ass. You see, and that's where pain comes from when we start to feel different from everything else and therefore hold judgment on it. Because that out there is different than me in here. 
What see that's the essence of controlled living right there. When you believe that, then you're controllable and you are being controlled because that's where that thought comes from. The idea of isolation and separation a lie such as we've never seen before. Even though each of us seems to make our personal choices continually in this life. Seems is the key word here. Understand we're living by a script and we're playing a role. The script is written steady as we go. But it's a script just the same. The writer is the heart and soul. The lessons are what we gain here. However they come to us, however they may be lived. <laughs> and truth is what we're beginning to live after having gone through an age of spectacular and wonderful lies. And a whole bunch of paranormal tragedy because of that. Because that is abnormal. That humans should ever attack another one in any way. In the nursery or on the battlefield, either one, or anywhere in the business world, etc. We're here for the benefit and blessing of one another. And that's how we truthfully live. That's the gift we give right here, right now, on this Coyote Medicine Show, in this coyote way. And here you thought those implants would be a problem forever. Shit, man. Piece of cake. We're getting to the, we're getting down to the belly of the beast, man, and getting them jolly right there. We're gonna have the beast acting like Santa Claus pretty soon, and running around and putting new gifts under everybody's Christmas tree. Only there ain't no tree there. Oh, mystically there is. <laughs> ho ho ho! The warped one is on the roll, and giving it back like a heart attack, Jack. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Exuberant love coming to you from the spaceship love. 9,000 feet high in the Rocky Mountain sky from the heart of that guy. Ooh, it's you too, you know. And mama, my mama love as well, man. Grandpa Coyote and friends. Ooh, baby, this is where we make amends with life and get it all back together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a human fall. Humpty Dumpty splattered himself all this shit. Humpty Dumpty says, well, enough of this. Let's get it back together again, kids. And here we are doing it, okay? I hope your implants all gone away. If they haven't, let me know. We'll finish them off for you. But I think they're done, babies. So let's have some fun this weekend. Enjoy the freedom of this free day Friday, especially... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and you'll want to be tuned in next week. Five beautiful days of rock and roll power, man, coming from the heart of Grandpa once again and the center of the universal heart as well. Of course, the Hazy Radio Network. See what I mean? Zeta's heart and mine are like the same one, even though we're vastly different in our forms of expression. <laughs> Oh, that's another little secret we'll talk about next week. The genderization of humanity. What that really is and what it really means. Ooh, and some of the more basic stories of the human existence. Because this age of revealing continues, you know. The age of truth coming into being. Which is, of course, the age of the blue star. You know, I mean, it's all cosmic, baby. You know, just relax. Breathe, you know. Rock and roll. Dance today as you go through the strum and stroll alive, man. You know, be the tree that's happy to be alive and blossoming and glowing in the sun, even though autumn leaves are the shining one now, man. Sometimes those are prettier than the flowers could ever be, man. We love the colorful leaves, yeah, inside of you and me, yeah, see. And you know what we're turning? Our true colors, man, yeah. We're coming back to life like nobody ever seen before. It's the end of the age of bullshit. And you want to be here for it next week on the Coyote Medicine Show because it's direct medicine for you, don't you know? Monday through Friday on the Hazy Radio Network starting at 7 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, 5 a.m. here in the mountains. That's six, 6 over there in the flatlands, 4 over there in the western place. And, you know, about midnight over in Hawaii, about 3 a.m. the next day in Australia, and so on. So adjust your clocks accordingly and let's have a great time as we live the stories of truth 
next week on the Coyote Medicine Show, which will unravel any ugliness ever done to you, baby. Life is a blossom and rose, and here we go.